we all know that pregnancy comes with a lot of changes physically mentally behavior wise socially and otherwise good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecturing youtube channel my name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be sharing with you five changes that takes place in most women during pregnancy yes i wanted to use the word every but i said no it is better for me to use the word most yeah five changes that usually takes place in most women during their pregnancy period but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel and these are content you are interested in please click on that subscribe button turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not messy Mary saying thank you let's go there welcome back now let's talk about the five changes that takes place in a woman during pregnancy let me tell you something most of these changes that takes place are as a result of hormones fluctuating they are as a result of the hormones dancing and doing their thing in a body as a woman most of these hormones are usually estrogens and progesterone estrogen and progesterone are the female hormone that does the magic during this period and close to the end of pregnancy which is usually the third trimester oxytocin and prolactin have been released the surge is on a high side these two hormones are the hormones that helps with contraction as oxytocin it helps with contraction of the uterus and also contraction of the breasts prolactin helps with milk production oxytocin also help with the release of this milk that has been produced so this hormone dancing this hormones fluctuating actually leads to the different changes that takes place in a woman during pregnancy and during pregnancy the body is trying to adjust it's trying to accommodate somebody else it's trying to make sure that both the woman and the baby are feeding they are surviving they are living and nothing is happening to them so let's now talk about the physical changes that takes place as a result of those hormones dancing the first one is skin changes yes the skin changes have you heard of pregnancy glue yeah yes the some women during the first trimester you see them glowing you see them shining when they are pregnant yes this is as a result of increased blood supply increased blood flow to the various organs in the body and the skin is not left out so when there's an increased blood supply there's an increased blood flow it's it's good for her body because the body the skin itself tend to get the necessary nutrient tend to get enough oxygen for it to glow and for it to look fresher so the first one is the skin changes and that is pregnancy glow but on the reverse side not all women experience this pregnancy glow some women they tend to have acne during this period some women tend to have stretch mark especially on their labs and other parts of the body and this stretch mark can be inchy can be so so discomfortable for them and this can be suited or this can be relieved with the use of cocoa butter cocoa butter can help though it cannot 100 percent relieve it but at least it can suit it during that period and also i want to let you know that some women experience um skin tag dark patches dark line you can express some dark line around the navel to the pelvic region and that is what we call the nina nigra so some women they glow during pregnancy and for some women the reverse is the case and for the reverse to be the case all is as a result of hormonal changes all is as a result of hormones in her body fluctuating the second change that takes place in a woman is in regards to the hair yes i remember having a patient that said that she was pregnant and she was like oh my hair has never been this full before in my life so pregnancy actually made my hair fuller yes some women experience fuller hair during pregnancy while on the reverse side some women experience loss of hair that fuller hair is also as a result of increased blood supply to the hair but some women experience hair loss during pregnancy 
and these hair loss are usually common with people that have alopecia usually have hair loss in their family history so basically some people experience fuller hair and the other experience hair loss when those that experience fuller hair at the end of pregnancy everything goes back to normal even those that experience hair loss at the end of pregnancy everything goes back to the normal the one that experience fuller hair may be sad because their hair is no longer food after pregnancy and the whole postpartum period why the one that experience um um, loss of hair will be happy because after pregnancy she is no longer experiencing loss of hair but whatsoever takes place during that pregnancy they go back to its norm after pregnancy and it all just stay happy and be super excited then another changes that takes place during pregnancy is the breast changes yes for those that are having smaller breasts during pregnancy period they may be excited because the breast gets bigger the breast gets tender and generally they might feel pain they may get excited because the breast is now bigger for those that have bigger breasts the breast might become more bigger because during this period the breast is receiving a lot of hormonal changes the breast is also preparing to lactate the breast is preparing to feed a baby so the breast is definitely going to get bigger so for me my breast got bigger but after pregnancy it went back to its normal stage it's just a normal thing there is usually a change in the breast during pregnancy then another one is the fourth one which is swollen appearance yes like we earlier said there is an increased blood supply to the various organs to the body in general so it's not just going to make the skin glow it's going to cause swollen changes that is why you see some women they have swollen nose during pregnancy and after pregnancy it bounces back they may have swollen body legs and hands swollen Swoll swelling of the legs and hands are gradual process but if all of a sudden you start seeing swollen legs as if there is fluid in your legs and hands it is important you see the doctor as soon as possible but generally swollen appearance it's a as a sign of pregnancy is a change that takes place in a woman during pregnancy but if the swollen changes becomes like sudden not gradual it is important you speak with your doctor and get the necessary treatment this may be a sign of preeclampsia eclampsia or hypertension in pregnancy that needs to be sorted out as soon as possible then the last one i have to share with you which is the fifth changes it food cravings yes food craving is a change that we all know is common with pregnant women you see pregnant women waking up at night telling their spouse they want to eat this after their spouse tried all means to get this thing they come back and they've lost appetite about this thing it's actually something else it can be a frustrating episode for that person's partner it can be an annoying episode for that person's partner but as a man it is important you tend to understand your spouse during this pregnancy period during this pregnancy period there's a heightened sense of of taste and smell even especially in the first trimester you see women when they are cooking like the smell actually disgusts them some during the first trimester they don't even like eating because of that heightened smell and taste and an additional point for you is some emotional changes yes emotional changes takes place during pregnancy um for example a woman that doesn't usually cry during movies when watching movies all of a sudden it becomes emotional all of a sudden they start crying all of a sudden start feeling bad any small thing the woman the husband says generally start making her feedback she start reading minutes to things she becomes emotional all these are changes related to pregnancy that we, i said i should inform you and get you to understand it yeah so these are the various changes i have come today to share you about pregnancy i hope it's beneficial to you and i hope you've got value thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is nosmes me saying thank you bye and see you in our next video